Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Citroen C4 Grand Picasso. Then I'll take you for a ride in it, but first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. Um, this, to be fair, there's a lot to say about it, and this video could run on. It's got so many accessories, so many extras. Self-parking, massage seats, you name it. Uh, panoramic roof, it, it's got it. So I'll try and show you around to the best of my ability today. It's a 1.6 blue HDI flare. It's a five door, 1560 cc, 2016 on a 66 plate, has done 36,689 miles. The fuel economy, urban is 61.4, extra urban 74.3, uh, combined is 68.9, so fantastic fuel economy there. Top speed of 117 miles per hour out of 118 brake horsepower, 16 valve four-cylinder engine. Road tax is an absolute bargain as well, 12 months is 20 pounds. Okay, I'll try and remember everything. So we've got the front parking sensors, the sort of Citroen heart rate monitor badge there, gloss black and diamond cut alloy wheels, the silver A-pillar which extends to the roof bar, carrier system, a panoramic glass roof, You've also got this panoramic windscreen, which goes from there right up to there. And I really like that feature, I, I, I really do, because the passengers get the benefit of the panoramic roof, but the, the driver gets the benefit of the panoramic windscreen. Rear privacy glass, we have a keyless entry and keyless lock, so as so long as you've got the keys on your person, you can lock the door by just touching it. When you come back to the car, just pull the door open, that's it. I almost forgot, being a passenger in the uh, Citroen, here we go, you've got the extending leg rest there, but that's still not the best thing, it's got massage seats, let's see, just switch them on, and there we go, and then, so you can have a kip while the car parks itself as well. Rear privacy glass. The rear privacy glass stops people seeing in and a, a certain amount of uh, heat coming through the, the screen. But also inside you've got, you've got pull-up blinds as well, which is a, a real good feature. This, this car's got absolutely everything. It's a really well-designed car, as I say. The uh, remote tailgate opening. And you can have the centre row of seats flat. And it's a real good load space. And the back seats are, are probably... Um, the easiest ones to to get up in in all the people carriers uh, nice and easy that is a flat cover you pull that up like so and then just get hold of this that's it it's it's that easy same here this side pull that up that's it we've also got a um, a, a roller blind parcel uh, sorry roller blind load cover Couple of, couple of other great touches on the Citroen, as I say, so well designed. There's a, a little cursy light in there, goes on when you open the tailgate, but it also doubles as a torch. Not enough to make you car, buy the car, but uh, still, still good anyway. So, power close tailgate. Just in there is your reversing camera, reversing sensors in the bumper. So getting in the back seats isn't too bad. They're only for children really. My head's touching the roof. Uh, I could probably manage for a short journey, a very short journey, 
but uh, it's okay it's not so bad you've got cup holders in the back here and a power socket um, you you would have to put the head restraint up there that's that's not too bad you've also got uh, lights in the back here and an air vent it's not as easy getting out as I'd have liked Jeez. The headrest right in the middle of your back. So first thing you have to do is push that up. That's the uh, blind I was telling you about. So that's nice and handy. We've also got picnic table here. The seats fold down or you can uh, put them completely flat so there's bags of load space in here and you've got this panoramic roof above your head it's really really nice 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 vehicle in the back I'll just take you for a ride in it my batteries will probably run out now just just as I was uh, getting in the car Another guy who's been in the uh, sales job around here, uh, a guy called Chris Smith, um, known him for 40 odd years. We've always been competitors. He was just walking past, so we just put the world to rights. Anyway, there we go. We've got the two keys. It, it is uh, keyless entry. Oh. And keyless go as well, as long as you've got the key on, on you. But it's also got a, a slot, so you may as well put it in there. All right, hang on a second. Oops, just shot that up my sleeve there. That's uh, clever. Right, this car has got so much gear on it. I just don't know where to start. As I say, it'll park itself. The first thing we'll get on is the uh, massage seats. They're brilliant. You've got the, the pan roof there as well. There we go. There's so many, there's so many switches in here. As I say, there's so much to demonstrate, and I've just been talking for 20 minutes when the camera's on. So, uh, right, let's have a look. Um, nearly broke my thumb there. So, height and reach adjustable steering wheel as well. We've got power folding door mirrors. The gear stick is on here. There's a, a park. You have to push it away from you to put it in park. Reversing sensors. We'll just stick it in drive get going it's got the parking brake on now but if i press it please don't do that gosh one of my cameras has gone off already all right so into drive parking brake on but if I press the accelerator it'll go off as long as you've got your seat belt on and everything here overkill you've got two screens here so you've got two sat navs one for you one for the missus the heater is absolutely uh, incredible to be honest let's just get that down knock that down knock that down and uh, We've got, before I forget, I'll try and point it out, blind spot monitoring system, so little orange light lights up in the dormer if it thinks there's somebody behind you that you can't see. Lovely, lovely panoramic windscreen, so you can pull those back like so. It uh, shows all my grey hairs <laughs> when I do that, so I'm going to put it forward again. It's a nice, nice ride. There's obviously, there's only me in the, the car at the moment, and the the Citroen engineers have to get a car that drives okay with one person in, one skinny person in, one fat person in, or seven skinny people or seven fat people in. 
So uh, they've got the work cut out, but it's a lovely ride. Very, very nice design. I, I really do like Citroëns, and you've got to say Citroën suspension, it's uh, second to none, really. They're way ahead of everybody else. They've got front, front armrest here, lumbar support, as I say, that's the um, massage seats, which are tremendous. It's, it, it just kind of needs your back in and out. And you don't think it's doing anything, but as I've said before in one of those videos, I, I came back from Scotland in a snowstorm and it took me about uh, five or six hours to get back and I had the massage seats. You have to keep switching them back on because they go off after a while. And they go off, off after a while for a reason because the next day after I got back from Scotland, I could hardly walk. You don't think it's doing any, any movement really or much movement, but uh, it really is. It's very, very good. Now, I'm not going for my lunch. What I'm going to do is try and demonstrate this parking system on the Citroen. And it will park, it's, it will park perpendicular and uh, parallel, which is, uh, which again is extremely good. It's all right. Um, if there's a, if there's a gap and uh, you can get in kind of sideways and it's fairly big you know that that's that's fine oh dear. <laughs> of course we are in lockdown at the moment unless I can get them seagulls to stand still let's just see if we can find somewhere to right we'll go that way it looks like these two cars now if you're going slow enough you click park we want to enter bay parking indicate left we'll go forward although this audi is very 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 badly parked now put it in reverse we'll go backwards forwards put it in reverse just have to be careful there because there's a huge bollard behind us and that's it pretty good party trick now let's get going I have to say that um, if we hadn't got a Range Rover in, I'd probably be driving this. Not because of uh, I need room for me and six people at the moment, especially. But uh, there's bags of room for my camera equipment in the back. lovely and comfortable driving very very economical sound systems great oh and uh, actually I need to show you something else it's got Bluetooth hands-free it's got Bluetooth audio streaming if we click on the sat nav button say you've got a sat nav but the best thing about it could remember where I'd put it uh, there it's got start stop which uh, drives me mad that brings up the Apple CarPlay if we click on there like so 
you'll see you've got your phone, you've also got the Apple uh, sat nav, which is better really, and is updated all the time. Um, on, on your phone, my, my phone's constantly updating. So to be honest, the car manufacturers, what they should really do, they should forget about having a, they should put speakers in, um, and that's it. Forget about the radio, forget about the sat nav system, all the other stuff, just put the speakers and the and the, the back stuff in and let everybody plug the phone in because everybody's got a phone these days. It's getting better and better. Um, you upgrade your phone probably most people every year or something, well perhaps every two years, people like me every as soon as a new one comes out. Um, and, and so therefore your car audio system is, is up to date and your, your sat nav system. For instance, um, let's uh, let me, me see. Uh, you, you see on the, you've got messages. Let me just. I will stop in a second and show you, so I don't get any grief in the comments. But it is hands free. Hey Siri. Navigate to Grosvenor Garage. Getting directions to Grosvenor Garage. Just got to click that so you're not going to be distracted. Grosvenor Garage, Chorley Road, Wantley Dale, go. See there, that mirrors your mobile phone you've got whatsapp there click on whatsapp would you like me to compose a new message or make a call compose a message who do you want to send it to gordon what do you want to say i'm just out videoing a car and showing people how to use apple carplay Your WhatsApp message to Gordon says I'm just out videoing the car and showing people how to use Apple CarPlay. Ready to send it? Send. Okay, it's sent. Thank you. So, you don't have to do anything, you don't have to take your hands off the steering wheel, you don't have to think about it. Dead easy to drive. Um, You've got a little mirror there that you can see in the back of the car, see what's happening in the back in the sixth and seventh seat, what bedlam's occurring. Electric window switches on the driver's door here. Nice, nice finish. Uh, this kind of silver stuff matches the seats here, which are supposed to be, uh, I don't th think it's actual leather. It's probably man-made leather and cloth, but nice design patterned in the middle and then the bolsters are, are most bolsters part of them are, are, are charcoal really really comfortable front central armrest here which you can put down and then click up it ratchets up to where you want it let's just uh, go back we can have the full screen for sat nav on there so that the top one is the sat nav for the car this one is the sat nav for Apple CarPlay, so I suppose you can. Because uh, actually, I've done this myself. When when I've um, sometimes when you don't trust the system when it's an older system, I I do that because it's easier when it hasn't got the screen. But you've got your phone and you, you're hearing your instructions off the phone. And sometimes the both the systems take you a completely different way. So you can cross-reference the systems. So. I don't know, I, su I suppose having two screens might be a good idea. Having those, the USB inside this big flap here, um, you've got USB, you've also got um, auxiliary in and an iPod, but I just noticed then that uh, the cup holders are here. Now, I've got my hand sanitizer in a I've got a hand sanitizer in that, so that's only a small thing. But when I let that flap down, it just shot hand sanitizer all over the seat. And um, so, you know, a, a tall 
latte or venti latte from Starbucks, um, the, the flap would be resting on top. Bit of a design failure there, Citroen. Might have to, might have to knock a point off. So let's see what else we've got. Isn't, oh, there is something behind me, great. Let's get going. Nice turn of speed. We've also got the, there you go, change down, change up, the flappy paddles on the side there. Uh, another, it's a great car, handy car, and it's not just Citroen who do this, and I can't quite understand why, but your indicators and your wiper stalk are directly behind these two, the quarter to three positions of the steering wheel, so you can't see them. And once you've got used to the car, it's fine, but I'm in and out of cars every day, all different. I mean, I've only just got used to the, in the old days, you used to have indicators and wipers and some cars would have them on different sides and you'd go to indicate and switch the wipers on and you know put wipers on and you'd be indicating so everything like that's pretty much standard these days indicators on the left but I, I can't actually I can't actually see it in and there's the multifunction switches that's the rear wash wipe now I'm pressing the end in I'm pressing the ending and that's that's doing stuff on the uh, main instrument panel also while well, I remember if you click this ending you'll see there you've got personal minimum dials now if I leave it on dials it'll change the, the screen there you go it's changed the screen you get your speedo the gear you're in um, and it's uh, digital speed and also you can see there it's like a, some of the speedos in the very very old cars they weren't kind of a rotary dial or they weren't a dial they, they'd wind along and, and quite and the way they used to they'd wind along and then they'd be shooting all over the place after a while not uh, not too clever those so you've got that display you just switch off again you do personal Navigation, and you've also got minimum there. Go back to navigation. You just have to give it a couple of seconds. So th there's so much to learn in here, and, and I forgot to uh, forgot to read the service history out. So I'm, 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 what time is it? It's two o'clock. Been a bit of a nightmare today. One of my cameras is just updated and I couldn't switch it on. And I saw my friend. And uh, we're uh, really on the last minute here. Another 15 years he'll be dropping bricks off there. So let's be nice to him now. See there, that's uh, the blind spot monitor, which that gentleman in the BMW helped me demonstrate. Very nice car. Cruise control there. Great brakes. Try and set the cruise on the other stretch of motorway. It's got stop start and I've been unable to suss out where the uh, button to knock it off is. That's all the sensors, look, the blind spot sensor, traction control, 
Oh, stop and start. Oh, bugger. Stop and start. Oh, I want that off. Stop. Can't beat switches. Stop and start off. That's it, off. Cracked it. I was looking for a switch on the dash somewhere or round the start stop button. Nothing there, of course. about we'll get back to the garage I'll show you how to pair a mobile how to Delete a mobile, how to stream audio, how to set the sat nav when you're not using Apple CarPlay. driving functions, vehicle settings there, driving lights, vehicle access, comfort, we'll see what the comfort is, okay, rear wipers in reverse, mirror adaptation in reverse, so that flips the mirrors down when you put it in reverse, so you can see the curbs, guide your home lighting, Welcome lighting, mood lighting. Far too much stuff in cars these days. And when, you know, I'm um, mood lighting. What does it cost? £100 to have it on our new car. Take it into a dealer when it goes wrong. <laughs> they, they charge you 150 quid to put it on the diagnostic system. And then uh, however long it is to find out what's wrong with it. Sorry about that, it's been a bit of a rush today. At least the stop start doesn't uh, knock off. Um, we've got a couple of uh, very nice cars to try and get videoed this week. 63 plate Range Rover Sport, new shape one, and also an old shape Westminster 4.4. Some great cars, great cars in stock. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.